Okay, so we got politics, coronavirus, and also we had some serious storms in the, over the last five days or so. Meteorologist Adam Claybon joining us on the one dry day of the week. We appreciate that. You know, I think uh, many of us are happy things are drying out, at least for a little while. We're going to see more rain back on the way as we head on into the night, but for this short while, I can show you this graphic and it has nothing but zero showing up. Now you see some of the green shading across parts of the northern Cascades. That was some of the rain that was leaving out of here uh, late, late last night or early, I guess, last night and heading on into early this morning. So right now we are noticing a mixture of sunny clouds. It's not completely sunny out there, but it's not raining either. 48 degrees west winds at about three miles per hour. Current temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 40s, 45 in Bremerton, 46 in Everett. Right now at 48 in Puyallup and Olympia sitting at 44 degrees. You can see the clouds continuing to really spread across parts of western Washington, and that really won't be letting up a whole lot. Just a few sun breaks really anticipated to hear as we go throughout the remainder of the day. A flood warning still out for the Skokomish and the Chehalis River. Uh, Skokomish at Potlatch, and then as you get closer to uh, Chehalis, that's going to be affecting the Grays Harbor. And uh, those actually have some times where we do anticipate it to start to go back below that flood stage for the Skokomish River. River at 9:48 tomorrow evening, and for the Chehalis River at around 5:32 early tomorrow morning. Landslide threat that's still out there for us, and we still probably will have that in place because we have more rain that's going to be heading on in here. And thankfully, it looks like this system that's going to be coming on through probably not going to be the biggest rain producer for us, but it is going to bring put down a little more rain. So as we go later on into the night, we are anticipating to see that the moisture will pick up. Probably will be though after midnight before we start to see some of those showers rolling on in. So here we are 1130 just be seeing to just beginning to see it affect the coast that will spread eastward as we go on into the late night and early into tomorrow morning. Some moderate to maybe heavy shower activity for a quick while heading into early tomorrow, but then we'll see that quickly move on out of here. And I think a decrease in the shower activity after about 10 to 11 AM tomorrow morning with things probably drying out and maybe even getting a few sun breaks as we head into the tail end of the day and setting us up for another dry day heading on into Saturday. Am amounts of rain Rain between a quarter to maybe a half an inch. So you can see not really noticing as many of those purples or reds like we were seeing earlier this week or for the past few systems that really put down quite a bit of water. 46 today in Tacoma will top off at around 50 degrees in Seattle, 50 also in Arlington. Lows tonight dropping down into the 30s and the 40s. Tomorrow, we are expecting to see those highs closer to around the upper 40s. We'll stay dry heading into Saturday and more of the rain still yet to come for us heading on into Sunday as we'll have another disturbance that will come through late into Saturday night and early into your Sunday morning. So overall through the weekend, not seeing too much of the rain during the daytime hours, but that probably does start to pick up again for us as we head on to next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Steve, as we go later on. into next All right. Week. Thank you, Adam.